Okay, so what we're doing here is I have this footage that I've uploaded. There's going to be several clips here. And I want people to start getting familiar with um, the color correction tools that are called uh, Lumetri. Uh, and that is built into both After Effects and Premiere. So uh, it's a really powerful tool. So I'm going to show you some of this. So this footage is just some basic footage that I shot a while ago. Uh, and the color correction is wrong. It wasn't white balanced properly. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this clip and I'm going to go into the effects. And I, I just put it down in the timeline. And I'm going to go into the effects window here. And I'm going to type in Lumetri. And so then there's an effect here called Lumetri Color. I take that and I'm just going to drag it onto the timeline. And so now you'll see up here you've got all these different things that allow you to uh, make some changes. So there's basic correction and here you can change white balance, exposure, contrast. Uh, then we also have these creative things so that you can play around with the color and the saturation. Saturation refers to uh, um, the, the vibrance of the, the, the color. So like if you took away all the saturation it would become black and white. Um, and so we don't want to do that. Uh, so uh, if you want to reset it, I'm just going to reset that so I get my color back. Um, then under curves, this is a tool that I use all the time in Photoshop. Uh, so this allows you to kind of make some basic changes to the overall master of it to make something a little bit more uh, higher dynamic range. If you wanted to change just the red or the blue, you can do that as well. Uh, and you can do that for each one of the colors available to you here. All right, but I'm not going to do that uh, either. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, reset that too. Um, I'm, I mean, I will do some of that as well. Uh, color wheels. Uh, so you can, you know, in the shadows, in the dark areas, you can uh, change, you know, the colors of the dark areas. So this is a little bit, takes a little bit more experience of, to knowing what you're doing here. Um, I also want to state that when you are doing color correction, um, sadly, you know, if you are not using a really good monitor, it's really kind of hard to judge what it is you're looking at. So, like, professional color correction uh, people have very expensive 4K monitors, uh, which we have at school if you wanted to use some of our program, uh, our uh, uh, monitors at school. Uh, you can do that in the future when we can get back to being in front of those, but uh, not everybody wants to do color correction. I, I actually really enjoy doing color correction. Uh, so just be aware of that, that if you're cutting on a laptop and you think you are doing a doing something, you don't really know what you're looking at unless you have a calibrated monitor. Okay, uh, so there's that. Um, and then we have something called secondary color correction, which allows you to find a particular color and you can change just that. Uh, so, but let's start with co basic color correction. So I'm going to try to find something white and it says white balance selector. I'm going to click on this little um, uh, eyedropper. I'm going to show the, the tool something white. And you can see immediately that what that did is it changed the colors to be more true. Now, for my taste, it's still a little bit washed out. So uh, I might, you know, uh, change a little bit of the contrast here to kind of give it a little bit more uh, of a nicer look that I prefer. And so that's uh, one uh, basic tool you can do. And I talked about saturation. Uh, saturation, if you go too high, it gets very garish, you know, so if you go too low, it gets black and white. So uh, that's something that you kind of can play around with.